So tonight, I don't have one, I don't have two, I don't have three, I don't have four, but I have five little DC motors to blow up. And of course, as always, I'm doing it with alternating current, and we're going to see how this really turns out. actually ran for a little bit until it blew out. Let's give it a little jolt of, another little jolt of power. She's done for. She's hot. Mm, ain't got that much heat. She's hot. Ain't got that much heat. Actually spun for a couple seconds and then blew up. Next, nothing special about this motor, just another little DC motor that'll go to the parts cabinet in the sky. spin a little bit too. The only heat is where it appears too many amps went to the wires. Pretty nice though. Believe it or not this one's actually out of a Tandy floppy drive from 1984. That floppy drive no wonder works. So we're gonna blow this sucker up anyways. That one died a quick, quick and painless death. Next. Nothing really special about this one either. Best reaction I've had so far. And it even spun too. <laughs> Plastic fell off. <laughs> She's hot too. Bye bye. Last one. There was already something wrong with this motor, which is why. I set it farther away than the other ones, but whenever I tried to power it, it would get very hot and do nothing. So I don't know what's going to happen with this one, and I really don't want to get shocked, so I'm probably going to plug this thing into the wall with my pliers. Grab the plug with my pliers. I'm really worried about this one. We killed the truth, really. Let's see what happens. Well, dang, that wasn't as bad as I thought. She's already dead. This shit up. I hope it's not hot. Oh god, this one's very hot. Last motor of the night. <laughs> Hit that propane tank. Well, thank you for watching that little video of blowing up those motors. I hope you liked it. And for now, I'll see you guys later.